Isa pong magandang magandang buhay mga kasambuhay. Ako po si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul, Doing All for the Gospel. At uh, sa ngalan po ng ating mga kasamahan na mga pari ng uh, Society of St. Paul, mga brothers, mga temporary professed members, at mga semin seminarista po namin dito po sa Pilipinas at sa Macau at uh, gayon din po sa ngalan ng mga pari ng Archdiocese of Manila at ng TV Maria, ang atin pong mission partner, muli namin kayong inaanyayahan na makiisa, makimisa ngayon pong ikalabing anim ng Hunyo 2019. Kalahati na naman po ng buwan ng kalahating buwan ng taong 2019. Oh, ganyan po kabilis ang panahon. At ngayon po, ang ating pinagdiriwang ay ang Solemnity of the Blessed Trinity, ang dakilang kapistahan ng Santisima Trinidad. Oh, naalala ko po yung aking teacher noon sa Loyola School of Theology, si uh, Father Pete Sevilla. Sabi niya, ang dakilang sangkatlo. Yan. Binabati siyempre po natin sa atin pong uh, pananalangin ang atin pong mga kasambuhay, ang mga homebound na mga may sakit, lalo-lalo na po ang ating mga kapatid na mga cancer patients na nagkikimoterapy at kailangan po na manatili sa bahay sapagkat talagang uh, They have to recover everything after each session, no? Yung atin pong mga elderly, ang atin pong mga caregivers, yan man po ay mga professional na caregivers o mga relatives na may malasakit, binabati po namin kayo. And we also would like to pray para po sa ating mga persons on duty, mga pulis, mga sundalo, mga doktor, lalo-lalo na po yung mga kailangang nasa ER kahit na linggo. And of course, ang atin pong mga OFWs, no? Lalo-lalo na ang mga seafarers. Bakit ta mga seafarers? Kasi po yung mga seafarers na yan, na wala nang nakikita kung hindi ang lawak ng laot, no? Ang lawak ng karagatan. Ganyan po ang lawak ng kanilang pagmamahal para sa pamilya. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. Of course, we would like also to pray para po sa ating mga mission partners mula po sa Canada, ang grupo ni Brother Alex Pideris, ni Dorothy Santos Merck, Ani Adorna, Emily at Dante Reyes, at ang kanilang pamilya, si Joy at si Alex Reyes, at ang kanilang pamilya, ang Doktora Jo Adorna, Guzman at ang kanyang pamilya, si Alicia Adorna at ang kanyang pamilya. Binabati rin po natin at ipinapanalangin ang intentions ng atin pong mga long time na mga kasambuhay mission partners. Si na Leslie Masigan, ang kanyang buong pamilya, si Tony at si Lourdes Chowa, si Ed at Norma Arrojado, George at Noemi Villarus at ang kanilang pamilya. And again, we would like to assure our brother George Villarus ang ating pong uh, remembrance in prayer para po sa kanyang namayapa na mother dyan po sa Iloilo. Si Didith at Joey Jacob, Mariel Diaz, ang kusina ni Kambal, ni Irma at Delio, San Miguel, ang Corazon Ochoa at Rosita Kauyan, dyan po sa Discovery Bay sa Hong Kong. Si Alma Gonzales, ang grupo po ni Romel Salvador, Gemma Candela, May Asuncion Resio, at gayon din po si Rachel Steban at Leilani Palladio Himotea. We would like also to... Uh, Uh, assure our prayers para po sa ating mga naging kalakbay. Ayan. Kajourney po natin sa atin pong mga pilgrimages. Ang grupo po ng Spell at ang Orange Group ng March 2019. Ayan. 
Gayun din po ang uh, Holy Land Group, Yellow Group, no? ng October 2018. Kasama na po yan ang mga jubilarians ng Recoletos. Si Father Randy, Father Charlie, Father Joe Alves, at gayon din po ang masigasig na Filipino Merinol Missionary Priest dyan po sa Taiwan, si Father Joy. Ha? Always joyful. Mukhang uh, magkakasama uli kami ni Father Joy in another uh, pilgrimage. No? Si uh, Cora Cabral, si Geraldine Lee, Grace at Jerry Lara, Marie Joyce Brillo, Jimmy Olaso, si Attorney J uh, Juana San Benaventura, si Nino Molina, Willie at Arlina Onglao, si Marites ng uh, Journeys of Faith, si Anton Santos at Juliet Oraile, Mr. and Mrs. Benji Datok, uh, si Chrissy, si Highland na palaging nagpapadala ng mga daily reflections, si Rosalie C., Ra Rose Bell D, si William D, at gayon din po ang atin pong uh, Tantwiko Group, si Dana, si Kathleen at si Tal, at ang mag-asawang Iris at Val Rivero, si Juliet Estola, si Silvet, at siyempre po si Grace Pulido Tan at Nonoy Tan. Gayon din po, we'd like to greet ang atin pong nakasama naman itong March 2019, Grupo naman ng Recto at ang kanila pong mga kaibigan, si Brother Manny at Sister Lulu na nagdiriwang ng uh, 60th year of wedding sa taong 2019. At gayon din po si Pearl at Rafi Rodriguez. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. No? Uh, and um, of course, we would like also to pay attention dito po sa ilang mga sharings ng atin pong mga kasambuhay either sa YouTube or sa Messenger. Isa na po riyan, ayaw magpabanggit ng pangalan. Sabi niya, uh, keep up the good work that you do for us. Greatly appreciated po. And sabi niya, transferred my uh, tiny love offering Uh, through your BDO account. God bless you po and the entire congregation as well. Yan, si MSN. Ayan. Ha? Kilala mo na kung sino ikaw. No? We will pray for you. Si Dolph Castro, sabi naman po niya, maraming salamat sa Sambuhay TV Mass, linggo-linggo, uh, nakaka- nakakapagsimba raw siya kahit papano sa salita ng Diyos ah, ah, lalo lalo na ah, nagtatrabaho po siya sa malayo ang request po ni Dolph ah, Castro panalangin para sa mga kaluluwa ng kanyang ama na si Isagani Castro at lahat po ng mga kaluluwa sa purgatorio sabi niya panalangin din para sa kalusugan ng kanyang buong pamilya kasama na rin siya siyempre panalangin para sa mga senior residents ng Windermer I hope na i-pronounce that right no? Winder, Winderemer ha? Care Center dyan po sa Vancouver Canada at gayon din sabi niya panalangin para sa lahat ng mga OFWs na nawa maging ligtas sa sakit at sakuna. Si Jun Tomas naman, bumabati po sa atin, nakikisambuhay siya mula po sa Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. At uh, oh, nagpadala din ng love offering si Jun Tomas. Maraming salamat ha, sa inyong lahat na tumataguyod sa atin pong apostolado sa pamagitan po ng inyong mga sharing of blessings. Para po kay Jun Tomas, prayer of thanksgiving sa lahat ng blessings and gayon din panalangin para sa health and safety ng kanyang mga mahal sa buhay. Prayers para po sa mga kaluluwa ni Crisanta Palma, Josefina at Terry Tomas at gayon din ang parents po 
ni uh, John Tomas, si Sefin at Feli Tomas. May they rest in peace. No? Uh, nice din niya ipanalangin po natin ang dalawang kaibigan niya na merong pinagdadaanan pero sabi niya, Father, confidential na lang po ang pangalan. Okay. Si Payek uh, Sindla. Yan. Uh, sabi niya, narito po ang aking tights for the month of May. Alam niyo, nakakatuwa. Hindi po namin binabanggit ang tights or whatever, pero marami po sa inyo ang talagang regular na nagbibigay. And uh, may God bless you po for that. No? And uh, sabi po ni Payek, complete healing para po sa father-in-law ko na nasa ospital. Sana siguro wala na sa ospital ngayon ito. No? Si um, brother po niya, na merong naaksidente, sabi niya, nawa magkaroon din ng kapanatagan ng isipan ng kanyang brother at kapayapaan naman doon sa naaksidente. Uh, si jo Joey Raymond, para po sa kanyang father na namatay si Jose Tibubus. Yan, ano? And then si C.C. Alforte, kanya thanksgiving po for sharing the Pascal mystery through FB and YouTube. It was a big help for us, OFW, for the reason that sometimes we cannot come to church, at least online, uh, it became a way. Kanya, lalo-lalo na siyempre, Holy Week, no? Lent, etc. Good Friday, yes po, no? Uh, talagang yan po ang ating aim upang gawin itong mga programang ito and uh, rest assured na uh, for as long as the Lord would give us all the possibilities ay gagawin po natin yan year by year. Okay, so tayo po ngayon ay nagdiriwang ng Solemnity of the Blessed Trinity and uh, We encounter, of course, the Blessed Trinity in our prayers, di ba? Every time we make the sign of the cross, we always say in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And uh, of course, every time we make our prayer, we always say we pray to the Father in the name of Jesus and in the power of the Holy Spirit, di po ba? Pero alam niyo, malalim po eh. Malalim na balon yan eh. Ang sabi nga ni San Agustin, no? para bang karagatan yan na hindi mo masalok-salok. Pero ang ganda po ng mga readings po natin dito sa pagdiriwang natin ng Solemn Feast of the Blessed Trinity ay kahit pa paano, we are given a certain point of reflection regarding this very rich uh, doctrine of our faith. Halimbawa, sa atin pong first reading, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 22 to 31, it speaks about the wisdom of God, ang karunungan ng Diyos. At sabi dyan, the wisdom of God accompanies the works and the ways of God From the beginning. And tunay na tunay po, whenever we speak about the wisdom of God, uh, part of that wisdom of God, a great part of it is the nature of God Himself. The Trinity. The Trinity is wisdom of God. Ito po ay mystery. Ibig po sabihin, we can start to study, we can start to explain, no? But we have to accept na ang buong eksplenasyon ng Santisima Trinidad remains forever para sa atin unlimited. Di ba? So the wisdom of God. And then, tamang-tama din po yung ating responsorial psalm. Sabi natin, O Lord our God, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. Kung yung first reading ay tungkol po sa wisdom of God, yun po namang second reading natin, Romans chapter 
1 to 5 speaks to us about the love of God being poured, poured into our hearts. And the, that is one explanation of the Trinity. Bakit kailangan maging three in one, tatlong persona, ngunit iisa ang pagkadiyos? Bakit kailangan maging ganun ang wisdom of God, the Trinity? Because the Trinity is love. No? And you cannot express love kung iisa lang yung person. No? Kailangan there is the lover, the beloved, and the love between them. And precisely, that is the Trinity. At yung pagmamahal na yon, sabi nga ni Pablo sa second reading, is poured to us. Ibinubuhos sa atin. The Father pours the love of God to us with the gift of life and creation. Yan, di ba? Jesus, the Son, pours the love of God to us with the gift of salvation. Di po ba? And then, the Holy Spirit pours the love of God to us with the various gifts that the Holy Spirit continues to give each one. Kaya po, ang ganda niyan eh, no? And then of course, sa gospel reading natin, inilalarawan na ang Trinity ang icon, larawan ng community. Merong diversity, may kaibahan, ngunit mayroon communion, may kaisahan sa gitna ng kaibahan. The Spirit builds on the work of Jesus and Jesus glorifies the Father and all of them are united in the Father. So, <laughs> ang ganda. No? Sana po ang ating mga parokya, ang ating mga uh, faith-based communities, renewal groups, no? ay uh, maging larawan nga ng unity, diversity, and love in the Trinity. Narito na po ang ating banal na misa mula po sa ating oratorio ni Maria Reina ng mga apostol sa aming pong community, Society of St. Paul, 7708 St. Paul Road, Makati. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As Christians, our lives are marked by the sign of the Trinity. The Father has created us in love. The Son came to the world to make it possible for us to recover our exalted status as children of God which we lost because of sin. The Holy Spirit continues the work of the Son in the church and in history until the Lord Jesus returns in glory. Indeed, the mystery of the Trinity is both the origin and the final goal of our journey. Today is the first basic ecclesial community Sunday. As one community of believers, we are invited to live out our faith in the Holy Trinity by our communion with communities, especially in the grassroots level. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. us pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Thus says the wisdom of God, The Lord possessed me. The beginning of his ways the forerunner of his prodigies of long ago. From of old I was poured forth at the first before the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains or springs of water, before the mountains were settled into place, before the hills, I was brought forth. While as yet the earth and fields were not made, nor the first clods of the world. When the Lord established the heavens, I was there. When he marked out the vault over the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he fixed fast the fountains of the earth, when he set for the sea its limit so that the waters should not transgress his command. 
Then was I beside him as his craftsman, and I was his delight day by day, playing before him all the while, playing on the surface of his earth, and I found delight in the human race. The word of the Lord. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the sea. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we even boast of our afflictions, knowing that affliction produces endurance and endurance proven character, and proven character, hope and hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has given to us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Isang mainit pong pagbati sa inyong lahat, sa ating mga kasambuhay na sumusubaybay sa atin sa lahat ng bahagi at dako ng mundo. Alam niyo po isang beses, bigla po akong nakatanggap ng text sa isang kaibigan. Sabi niya, Uy, manunod kami ng sine ng mga anak ko. Mayroon akong extra ticket. Baka gusto mong sumama. Eh dahil ah, gusto kong panuorin talaga yung Pili ko lang yun, mga Marvel movie siya, tungkol sa mga superheroes. At ganun din, excited yung kanya mga anak, agad akong umuo. Sabi ko, sige, sama ako. At yun na nga, dahil fan kami lahat ng mga anak niya, habang kami nanonood, tutok-tutok kami sa aming pinapanood. At dahil medyo may pagka-comedy yun, 
Grabe yung tawa namin, talagang humahagal pa kami sa tawa ng mga anak niya. Buong-buo na sana ang aming saya, yun nga lang, sa gitna ng pelikula, bigla kami may narinig na isang tunog. May humihilek. May humihilek. Sabi ko, sino yung humihilek? Pagtingin ko sa katabi ko, yung palang nanay nila na kaibigan ko ay tulog na tulog. Buo, hanggang dulo, tulog na siya. At nang lumabas kami sa pelikula, sabi ko sa kanya, Grabe ka naman. Halos gumulong na kami sa kakatawa. Tapos ikaw tulog na tulog ka. Sabi niya, pasensya na Bert, hindi talaga ako makarelate eh. Makarelate. Alam niyo po mahalaga talaga na makarelate tayo sa mga bagay-bagay. Kasi kung hindi, hindi tayo makasabay. Yung wala tayong maintindihan, yung napag-iiwanan tayo. At hindi tayo makapasok doon sa mundo ng iba. Alam niyo, Bago bumaba ang salita ng Diyos, ang anak ng ikalawang persona ng Holy Trinity, hindi rin maging madali para sa mga tao na makarelate sa Diyos. Kasi bago dumating si Jesus, ang tingin ng tao sa Diyos ay manlilikha, tagapagligtas, Panginoong may kapal, na nanundun sa langit at iba pa. At tama po lahat ng yun, totoo lahat ng yun. Pero parang ang layo-layo kasi ng Diyos, Parang hindi natin siya ma-reach. Ang taas niya, samantalang tayo, mga tao, mga maliliit at katiting na tao, dito lamang sa lupa. Kaya ang nangyari, masyadong formal, masyadong rigid ang ating pakikitungo sa Kanya. May halong takot pa nga eh. Kaya ang mga taga-Israel, parang palagi tuloy silang takot. Naparusahan sila ng Diyos. Feeling nila kaunting mali lang, magkakaroon na ulit ng pagbaha o kaya uulan ng apoy mula sa langit. Grabe ang kanilang pagtakot sa Diyos. Tama naman po talaga na magkaroon tayo ng takot at reverensya sa Panginoon kasi siya po ang may kapal at tayo ay wala kung wala siya. Pero nung dumating si Jesus, ipinakita niya ang tunay o ang buong muka ng Diyos at dahil dito, nag-iba ang ating relasyon sa Kanya. Sino nga ba ang Diyos? Sa isang salita, pag-ibig. Or more exactly, ang Diyos ay isang pag-iibigan. Isang hindi nagwawakas at hindi nagmamaliw na pag-iibigan sa pagitan ng tatlong persona ng iisang Diyos, Ama, Anak, at Espiritu Santo. This is the Holy Trinity. And if what I said is hard to understand, don't worry. Kasi hindi ka nag-iisa. The Holy Trinity is a mystery of faith. At hindi talaga natin lubusang maiintindihan ang misteryong ito bilang mga tao. Pero alam natin ito ang katotohanan dahil ito ang ipinakita sa atin ni Jesus at dito tayo dinala ng kanyang espiritu ng katotohanan na gumagabay sa atin. Sabi ni Jesus sa ating Ebanghelyo, I have much more to tell you. But you cannot bear it now. Balang araw, kapag kaharap na natin ng Diyos sa langit, mas makikilala natin ang Panginoon, mas maiintindihan natin siya. Pero sa ngayon, kailangan muna nating manalig sa itinuro niya at ang ibinigay niya at pagdilayan ito. Alam niyo, bago pa dumating si Jesus, pinapakita na ito sa atin ng Diyos. Sa ating unang pagbasa, makikita natin ang wisdom of God na tila nagsasalita bilang isang hiwalay na tao sa Diyos Ama. Pinakilala niya ang kanyang sarili bilang kasama ng Diyos bago pa niya ilikha ang mundo at katuwang niya sa paglikha sa ating lahat. Isang halimbawa lamang ito kung paanong sa mas malalim na pagdinilay, mas nakikita natin na totoo ang banal na santatlo. Pero Father, siguro sasabihin ng iba sa inyo, eh ano ngayon? Ano bang kinalaman ng tatlong mis- ng misteryong ito sa aming buhay, sa aming pang-araw-araw na gawain? Dalawang bagay. Una, dahil ang Diyos ay isang pag-iibigan, pinapakita nito kung ano ang hinahangad niya mula sa atin. In a word, love. Faith, in its very essence, is an invitation to a personal relationship. Yes, it is about prayers, it is about going to church, reciting novenas and rosaries, but above all, faith is a friendship, a personal relationship with God. 
In the same way that the Trinity is an eternal relationship of love between themselves, God wants above all a loving relationship with all of us, with each one of us. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang isang formal na relasyon ang gusto ng Diyos sa atin. He doesn't just want to be creator, redeemer, or wish granter, or parang genie na nilalapitan niyo pag may kailangan kayo. Pwede yon, okay lang yon. Pero ang gusto niya, higit sa lahat, ay maging tatay, daddy, kaibigan, kasangga, kasambuhay. Gusto niya maging malapit sa ating mga puso. Kasi tayo ay kanyang mga minamahal na mga anak. Parang kayo lang ng inyong mga anak at mahal sa buhay. May kulang kung nakatira lang kayo sa iisang bubong o tagabahid lang kayo ng tuition fee nila taon-taon. O sa mga kasama nating OFW, kulang kung tagapagpadala lang kayo ng sustento sa kanilang pangangailangan araw-araw. Totoo, mahalaga ang mga ito kasi hindi naman kayo mabubuhay kung wala ang pag-aalagang ito. Pero higit pa riyan, ang gusto nyo, yung magkaroon kayo ng malalim na relasyon sa inyong mga minamahal. Kaya nga nagsusumikap kayong umuwi kahit magastos o makatawag tuwing may panahon at pagkakataon. Kasi mahalaga, mahalaga man ang pasalubong at perang padala ninyo, walang mas hihigit pa sa pag-iibigan ninyo sa inyong mga mahal sa buhay. At para mangyari ito, kailangan ng panahon para sa isa't isa. Yan mismo ang hinihingi ng Diyos sa atin, na bigyan natin siya ng panahon. Kinakausap niyo ba ang Diyos? Nakikinig ba kayo sa Kanya? O hanggang simba na lang o sambit lang ng nobina ang nangyayari? Again, that's not wrong. Pero kung hanggang dun lang pero wala ang puso, para saan? The Lord is after our hearts. He wants to know us deeply, intimately, because that's literally the kind of God He is, a God of intimacy. Pangalawa, dahil ang Diyos ay isang pag-iibigan, tayo ay nilikha para sa bawat isa. Sabi nga, no man is an island. Kasi kailangan natin ng bawat isa. Ito ang pagkalikha sa atin ng Diyos. Mga taong dapat magtulungan, magmahalan, kahit minsan napakahirap. Kaya nga ang simbahan ay isang komunidad. The faith of Jesus Christ that He gives us brings us together as one body of Christ. Isang pamilya sa hirap at ginhawa. Mga kasambuhay, sa tuwing mangungrus tayo sa ngalan ng Banal na Santatlo, sa ngalan ng Ama, Anak at Espiritu Santo, sana tandaan natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin nito. Ang ating Diyos ay isang walang hanggang pag-iibigan ng tatlong persona ng iisang Diyos. Tayo ay nilikha ng pag-ibig para sa pag-ibig. Para sa pag-ibig sa Diyos at sa ating kapwa. This is who we are and what we were made for. Ibinuhos niya sa atin ang kanyang espiritu para bigyan tayo ng lakas at pananampalataya para mas patuto tayo maging mas mapagmahal at sa ganun, maging mas malapit sa Panginoong may kapal. Amen. Let us rise to profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. 
I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Father, through the Holy Spirit, has given life to the humanity of Christ, His Son, and has made Him a source of life for us. Let us raise our petitions to the Triune God as we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, may our worship of the true one true God through Christ and in the Holy Spirit lead us to deeper communion with one another. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For national and local leaders, may they be filled with the Spirit's gift of fortitude and wisdom so that they can stand up for justice, life, and peace. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For the wayward, the sick, the depressed, the old, and those who suffer from violence and hatred, may they be led with the comforting presence of the Holy Spirit. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For fathers of the family, may the virtues of kindness and fidelity increase in their hearts and minds as they continue to work for and support their loved ones. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, may the walls of division be broken so that one day we may sit together at the table of the Eucharist. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For basic ecclesial communities, May they try, strive to work with greater harmony and peace among members of the church amidst their limitations and littleness. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone ahead of us, may they share Christ's glory together with your Holy Spirit. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you sent your word to bring us the truth and your spirit to make us holy. Help us to worship you, one God in three persons, by proclaiming and living our faith in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too, and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. Holy. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. By divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Prayer of Overseas Workers Saint Michael the Archangel, I am about to leave my family and the physical and emotional distance affect me. The physical distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God and you did it confidently, trusting that everything will be all right because our Creator has everything in His hands. Share with me the same faith. Make this travel a part of my mission here on earth. I have to leave for the good of my family and loved ones. I have to leave to do God's will. While I am away from them, protect them from dangers. Let them feel my presence through my letters and calls. Make us a strong family even though we are far from one another. Saint Michael, through your intercession, may Jesus be the light of the family and Mary be our mother too. Amen. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you and in his kindness pour out upon you the gifts of his holy blessing. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to his words, that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. And so, may you always understand what is good and right, and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands, made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may Almighty and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord.
Marami pong salamat sa ating presider sa badal na misa po ngayon. Ngayon naman po ay gusto nating ituloy-tuloy ang ating nasimulan na katikismo sa Laudato Si, ang uh, encyclical ni Pope Francis tungkol po sa pangangalaga ng mundo, ng kalikasan, ng ating tahanan. ba? Diba? And uh, so far, nakita po natin kung paanong dinescribe ni Pope Francis na itong concern na ito tungkol sa kalikasan at pangangalaga ng gawa ng Diyos ay inilarawan na ng mga naunang Santo Papa sa kanilang social encyclicals mula po kay uh, John the 23rd and then Pope Paul the 6th and then si John Paul the 2nd at si Benedict the 16th no ngayon naman po uh, sabi po ni Pope Francis sa paragraph 7 ng Laudato Si kanya itong concern na ito itong uh, uh, isang napakalalim na usapin na ito tungkol sa pangangalaga ng kalikasan at ng ating tahanan dili walang iba kung hindi ang mundo ay concern hindi lamang po ng mga sayantista o ng katoliko o ng sino pa mang civic group kung hindi sabi niya outside the Catholic Church other churches other religions also have expressed deep concern on the issue at isa nga dito binigyan din ni Pope Francis starting from paragraph 7 ng Laudato Si ay ang mga concern at teachings po ni Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew. Sino ba si Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew? Siya po ang present na uh, head ng Orthodox community. Yung mga Orthodox, iba-ibang grupo po yan. May Russian Orthodox, may Greek Orthodox, may kung ano-ano pa. No? Eastern Church ang tawag natin sa kanila. Pero itong Patriarch of Constantinople, si Patriarch Bartholomew, ang kinikilalang parang titular na uh, parang spokesman or whatever, convenor ng mga Orthodox. Kaya ecumenical patriarch ang tawag po sa kanya. And um, alam niyo po kung si Pope Francis ay atin pong itinuturing na kahalili, successor ni St. Peter, ito namang patriarch of Constantinople na si Patriarch Bartholomew Ang tingin naman po sa kanya ng mga Orthodox, siya po ang successor ni Andrew. Yan. So, hindi ba magkapatid yan si Peter at si Andrew. So, anyway, si uh, Patriarch Bartholomew, sa kanya pong mga speech at uh, pangangaral, sabi din niya, ang atin pong kasalanan ay hindi lamang mga kasalanan tungkol sa Ten Commandments or whatever, kung hindi, sins against creation. Yan. For human beings to destroy biological diversity. Yan. Totoo po yan. Ano? Nawawala na yung ibang mga napakagagandang mga gawain ng Diyos. Di na natin makita. Yung ating pong development sa mundo, sinira na yan. O, isang bagay na simple dyan, limbawa, nakakakita ba ba kayo sa Maynila ng tutubi? Yan. Iba-ibang klase ng tutubi yan. Meron po yung malaki, meron yung tutubing karayom, kung tawagin natin, nung tayo mga bata, hinuhuli yan, pinaglalaroan ng mga bata. Ngayon, wala na po, wala na akong makita eh. Na? Ya? Yang tutubi. So marami po sa mga biological diversity ng creation ang dahan-dahang nawawala. At sabi po ni Patriarch Bartholomew, sagutin natin yan sa harap ng Diyos na lumikha. For human beings to degrade the integrity of the earth, 
causing changes in climate. Yan. Global warming. No? Sa Europe, kahit na summer, malamig. Bakit? Hindi po sapagkat malamig kung hindi yung mga yelo, yung mga niebe sa North Pole ay uh, itong mga niebeng ito ay nagme-meltdown. Oh, sa sobrang uh, init, nagme-meltdown at syempre yung lamig noon tinatangay sa Europa. Pero suma total ay nalulusaw na po yung mga niebe sa North Pole. Okay. Uh, stripping the earth of its natural forest and destroying the wetlands. Ah, totoo po yan. Ano? So, marami ng mga lupa, bundok sa mundo, ang tulad po ng aking ulo. Oh, kalbo na. Oh, hindi lang yon yung dating mga wetlands, marshlands, no? na kung saan pwedeng manirahan ang ibang mga uh, nilikha ng Diyos tungko, uh, tulad po ng mga buwaya. Uh, eh, wala na po. Wala na yung mga wetlands na yan. Tinambakan na, ginawa ng subdivision lahat. Kaya yung mga buwaya nandun na sa kongreso. Oh, wala nang wetland. No. Oh. And then, sabi dito, human beings that contaminate the earth's waters. Naku, mapunta ko kayo sa Manila Bay. No? Eh, hindi ko nga alam kung masisikmura mong uh, mag-deeping-deeping doon. No? Uh, Dati-dati, excursion area yung Manila Bay. Pero ngayon, wala na. Wala na. So, ang sabi po ni Patriarch Bartholomew, all of this are crimes against the natural world. No? So, dapat i-confess din yan ng mga taong gumagawa niyan. No? Oh, yung umaabuso sa kalikasan. They are crimes against the natural world. They are sins against ourselves. Oh, kasi tayo ang nadadamage. O biro mo yung mga bata, hindi na alam kung ano yung tutubik. No? And then, they are also sin against God. Siyempre nga, ang Diyos ang gumawa niyan eh, para ma-enjoy natin. Tapos sinira po natin. And now, ang sabi po ni Patriarch Bartolomeo, ayon kay Pope Francis sa Laudato Si, kailangan ang solusyon ng uh, problema ng kalikasan, hindi lang teknolohiya, kung hindi change of humanity. Kanya, pagpapalit ng pananaw, attitude ng tao. At uh, sabi po ni Patriarch uh, Bartolomeo ayon sa sulat ni Pope Francis, we have to replace consumption with sacrifice. Yan, no? Uh, baka naman pwede po nating bawasan yan, ang paggamit ng mga bagay-bagay na nadideplit sa mundo tulad ng mga kahoy, di ba? Oh, replace consumption with sacrifice Replace greed with generosity Totoo po yan no? Sa totoo lang, pwede naman tayo mabuhay ng komportable na eh. Kaya lang, oh, yung ibang mga businessman Gusto nila talagang tubong-tubo Ayan, oh, tubong-tubo Kahit na... Uh, Sobra-sobra na ang pera nila. Hindi naman madadala sa libingan kung uh, namatay sila. Hindi naman sila pwedeng ihimlay sa pera. No? Pero totoo po yun. There's so much greed, especially, among people who are supposed to regulate no? the use, the consumption of uh, natural resources. Wastefulness must be replaced with the spirit of sharing. Ah, again, another important point. Alam nyo ba sa uh, ibang bansa, pag sumosobra po yung kanilang namamanufacture na sardinas, hindi po yun isineshare. Yun ay idinadumping nila sa dagat. Oh, 
kita mo, dinamping sa dagat yung sardinas para ma-maintain ang presyo. O, oh, kita mo kung anong klaseng uh, greed yan, wastefulness yan. Ano? So, ito po yung appeal po ni Pope Francis na sabi niya, nagkakaisa tayo, hindi lang bilang mga Katoliko, kung hindi pati yung kapatid natin na mga Orthodox, nagkakaroon ng kamulatan tungkol sa pangangailangan na tignan po natin na bahagi ng ating pong spiritual life ang praktikal na ating pong pangangalaga sa kalikasan. Okay, tutuloy po natin ito. In the meantime, kayo po'y aming inaanyayahan na maging mission partner ng ating pong sambuhay TV Mass. Unang-una, sa screen po natin ang iba't ibang bank accounts na pwedeng gamitin upang i-share po ninyo ang inyong blessings para sa ganon, patuloy naman nating i-bless ang iba sa pamagitan ng Word of God every Sunday, lalo-lalo na po yung ating mga OFWs. Pangalawa, you can be a mission partner, of course, by propagating. Pakilala po natin ito pong atin pong apostoladong ito, ang ating Facebook account, ang ating YouTube account, etc. And then, you can be a mission partner, of course, by also uh, texting us yung inyo pong mga mas intentions at sharings. Sa ngalan po ni Father Resti de la Peña at lahat po nang bumubuo ng St. Paul Audiovisuals, iniiwan po namin sa inyo ang panalangin ni Blessed James Alberione to spend the week well. My dear, my sweet Mother Mary, keep your holy hand upon me. Guard my mind, my heart, my senses, that I may never commit sin. Bless my thoughts, affections, words, and actions, that I may always please you. And Jesus, my God, Jesus and Mary, give me your most holy blessings. Amen.